Many Western democracies, notably in the United States, have legislated the separation of church and state, but how they interpret this varies. In Canada and Scandinavian countries, endorsements of God and religion are usually absent from public proceedings. In the United States, on the other hand, all currency bears the motto, In God We Trust, and the president ends his addresses with the phrase, God Bless America. In a climate this explicitly religious, it's no wonder that many openly Christian people decide to become involved in politics. When they do, however, it raises important questions. For instance, how much should their beliefs affect their policies? I believe that there aren't as much spiritual effects on the action of politics, but I believe that it's important. Um, if you look at the Bible in its entirety, uh, it's good principle uh, to live by. I feel like religious beliefs, if at all used in politics, shouldn't be someone trying to implement their religious beliefs on other people. Well, religious beliefs usually, in my eyes, should affect the way policies are made. If it benefits another person, in other words, we can make someone else's life better, the way Jesus did for other people, then that's really where we should push policies that um, reflect that. On the one hand, the Bible is full of stories of God guiding political leaders like Joseph, the Hebrew patriarchs, prophets, and the kings of Israel. On the other hand, God's reluctance to establish a king in Israel reveals how destructive political power can be both to those who wield it and those they rule over. Jesus also instructs his followers to give back to Caesar what is Caesar and to God what is God's, perhaps implying that the two fields should be separate. Recently, Dr. Ben Carson, a neurosurgeon and something of an avenue celebrity, ran for the Republican Party presidential nomination. So we should think about how Christians are supposed to conduct themselves in the political realm. I think so, because um, politics affects everything. And also, I think a lot of times when people are trying to create change um, or like social justice, you have to go from a political side of that and I think that is biblical because Jesus taught us to be a good person. People should be allowed to state their opinion and to get involved because we're very much affected by policies and politics and so I don't think religion should stop that. It's biblical in the sense that we should always be pushing to help others. We should be helping our fellow man and, pol and politics is a huge part of that. It's how we govern each other. It's how we communicate and create laws that do benefit each person and protect each person. If you look at the aspect of what God, God calls us to do, He calls us to be a light into the world and uh, we need to use that light of Christ within us to illuminate the world for a, a better and positive outlook. So yes, it's very important to get in uh, get into a spiritual side of, of politics and, and, and implement that. In the Bible, it's apparent God was and will remain heavily involved in the politics of Israel. But does that necessarily give us the license to place our faith in the political realm? After all, how would you like it if other Christians or adherents to other religions voted into power politicians and policies that champion their beliefs and values, especially when they might differ from your own? Imagine a situation where all religions besides Christianity were outlawed, or perhaps a scenario where Muslims or Buddhists were treated by the law of the land unequally. The separation of church and state is only as separate as the voters of a country want it to be. I believe that if you leave God out of something, it's just continued, can continue to get worse and worse. I think that if your faith does teach you to be a good person, then take that and put that into your politics rather than saying, oh, I'm a Christian, so I have to be, you know, whatever political party. Faith really should try to be integrated into your politics. I mean, if you have an opinion on something, your faith should, definitely should be integrated. Regardless of what you believe about the presence of your faith in politics, take comfort in the fact that God is in control and guides our world leaders to his end. The Lord foils the plans of the nations. He thwarts the purposes of the peoples. God simply won't permit a nation, politician, general, or voting public to disrupt his plan of redeeming the human race.